Well, hey everybody, this is Norman. And Debbie. And we're here at week four of the legislative session, and this week was the deadline for all of the bills to be dropped. So everything's in the hopper now. You can go on the state website and see all the bills that have been submitted. Um, so here we go, five weeks left. Um, so we want to start this video talking about our day at the Capitol. We had around 80 or 90 people come to visit the Capitol yesterday, a bus from Rapid City, a bus from Sioux Falls. Just a bunch of passionate patriot believers who really care about making their voice heard and fighting for family values. Um, some had never been to the Capitol before. Others have been, I think I saw one person on Facebook say it was their 10th year coming. Um, so we were glad to have our friends here at the Capitol yesterday for our Capitol Summit. Um, if you weren't able to join us this year, we'd love to see you next year. Um, there's a few bills that we want to talk about on this video, so why don't we jump in with student privacy. All right, we started off Monday with the student privacy bill in House State Affairs, and I want to give a shout out to all my friends from Vermilion who, who came to testify on this bill. We had a great hearing. It passed out of the committee and onto the floor. The next day it was heard on the floor and passed the House. It's heading to Senate Judiciary, probably will be heard this coming Tuesday. And stu the student privacy bill just says it, it's to set up a statewide policy where boys go to the boys' bathroom and girls go to the girls' bathroom. And it also includes locker rooms and overnight accommodations. Cool. So the next we'll move on to a couple different gambling bills. I'm looking to expand the industry here. One deals with sports betting online. So last year when sports betting passed and went on the ballot, it said in a casino, you could place your bet basically while you're watching a game. And now this year they want to expand it to on your phone statewide. So the addictive potential really goes up when you compare sitting in a casino with your friend versus sitting alone on your phone. So we have a lot of concerns with Senate Joint Resolution 502. That'll be in front of the Senate here soon and we're trying to stop that. And the next would be a video lottery expansion that was in committee this morning, looking to increase the bet limit from two to four and the winnings from winning potential from 1,000 to 5,000. This really wouldn't affect what you could call the recreational gambler because they've already decided how much they want to spend. And so what we were really seeing is that this would really affect the compulsive gambler, the addicted gambler, because they're trying to chase their losses and so they would spend their money faster for a higher potential winning. So we were really glad to see that bill die in house commerce this morning. So those are two of the gambling bills. Um, next we'll talk about the women's sports bill. Uh, that had already passed the Senate. It was heard in the House this week, passed overwhelmingly. This was the bill that uh, was brought last year, and it just makes sure that biological, only biological women can play biological sports. The governor signed it yesterday, and it's now law. Cool. And do you want to do forced abortion as well? Oh, yeah. We were supposed to have a hearing uh, today on the forced abortion bill, and that's the bill that just says it's a crime to threaten somebody um, with, with murder, kidnapping, or assault. Um, and that bill wasn't heard because the sponsor was sick. So I would just remind all of you to keep our legislators and lobbyists in your prayers because we always have a few legislators who are gone from illness. So if you would keep, keep praying for all of our health, thank you. And then the last bill we'll talk about in today's video is commercial surrogacy. So Senate Bill 137 seeks to set up a third pathway to parenthood based strictly on intent and contract law. So right now, in the eyes of the state, there's only two ways to become a parent. The first is the traditional natural way of mom and dad have a baby, they have a natural right to that child, the child has a natural right to them. The second pathway is adoption. We know that sometimes there's a sticky situation, there's something that went on to where the child just needs a new home and there's a, a code set up to do that. They're looking to set up a third pathway to establish parenthood based strictly on intent and, re and regulated by essentially just a contract. And so we've seen a lot of abuses of this situation, but also it's just not child friendly. Surrogacy splits the mom into three different ideas. You've got the genetic mom, the birth mom, the social mom. And surrogacy always separates a kid from at least one of these three, sometimes all three. Mm -hmm. So we'll be opposing Senate Bill 137, and you, you can see all of these bills that we're either supporting or opposing or just watching at our legislative radar. So be sure and check out FHAaction.org. You can go to our legislative radar to see all the bills, or check out our Action Center for the ones that we really need you to make your voice heard. We've got an engine there where you can email your legislators, you put in your zip code, your address, and it'll automatically connect you to your senator or to your representative. 
So in addition to FHAaction.org, be sure to check out our YouTube page and all of our different social media accounts. We're now on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So follow us on whatever platform you'd like to and definitely visit FHAaction.org for more information on the bills. Thanks everyone. See you next week.